This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Zip well, friend, Fairfax Christian, Cardinals, your MPSC leader against the MAC leader. And a big matchup between these two here. And on conference way as Johnson and company gets it first. Here for the Cardinals. Shot clock at nine. Back, the hook shot, no good. Rebound to Williams. Caleb Williams brings it up. Right, Dane Rang with it and then back to Dulles. Lewis, Williams, breaks. Wayne, no. We're now back to the Cardinals here. Howard, swing it back. Off the glass. He looks up at a big roll. Quick two nothing lead for the Cardinals here. Back door. Turned it over. Back the other way is Fairfax Christian. Got it, the hook shot. Quick four nothing lead for the Cardinals. Hughes is that there, Williams right over to Lewis. Going for two, rolls away. Back the other way here. Johnson. Deep three, no good. Lewis with the rebound here for the Quakers. Williams blocked. <laughs> Jake Williams was looking to shoot that three. He was blocked. Funny initial shot there. Two minutes into the game. Here in this finale matchup in the Capital Hoops Challenge. Second year. Fakes it double. Pull up. Short. Now back the other way here. 540 remaining here in the first. Stolen there from Williams. And I think the shot clock need to be reset. That's what that is. It is the well, Bryce Griffin. Griffin in for the Quakers. Here. 
Done a great deal as well at Fairfax Christian here the last couple of seasons. 439 here left in the first quarter, and Lewis at the line trying to get Sidwell on the board. Katie and Lewis, the junior, first shot. Oh, good. Well, actually, did go in my apologies. <coughs> so, single turn, big win last week against Riverdale Baptist. Second shot, got it. 42 your score. So, well, out of the rankings now, Ashley, very top still, Ashley. Tough loss, one of the bullets, what a game that was for the Black IAC Challenge. Good timeout by Fairfax Christian and Coach Parker. 421. Also, a special thank you to our title sponsor, the Washington Wizards. Thank you, Legit Stats, for providing all statistics of this weekend's Capital Hoops Challenge. Thank you, Glory Games Grill. Thank you, Monumental Sports and Entertainment. We see Sitwell again at the Mellow Classic. February the third. Back up in Baltimore. Don't forget anybody again who is still hungry. Jersey Mike subs by two subs and dogs. That's Jersey Mike's Cardinal special two ten dollars at the concession stand. As Johnson looking to inbound. Go to Richburg. Looking. Shooting two here in Howard. Francisca Bay as well. Coming. And Val Bryce River, this one's a challenge. Four to your score here. Two shots hit in Quincy Lane. Five to two. Second shot. Got it. Six to two, you score. And this one is the Cardinals up four. And up, the double. Back over inside, block there. Oh, stays on his end. Williams. Shot clock at 13 here for Lewis. <coughs> Shoots it! Off the glass and in! Kenny and Lewis cuts the lead of one. Also, the first and second in the game for Fairfax, Alexander Moes Ashari. Oh, and bound the ball. Fine doing that. Fakes it. Try the back door. And it closed up on Fairfax quickly. Williams inside block from behind. 312 left here in the half. Looking to drive again. Travel. One left here in the first quarter of play. They're going to be double. Williams 
back. Luang no good. Sondon was trying to make something happen there. Angelo gives it up. Sika Bates hitting the screen, as you know. Howard. Tough with person over there. <coughs> Killers with the rebound. Lewis inside. No good. Williams got the roll to go in. The turn back in, 7 6. The score here for Sidwell. Right to Richburg. Two minutes, two minutes left here in the first. Deep two. In and out. Gillis with the rebound. Seven six lead here for Sidwell. Lewis for three again. Front end miss. Rebound back. It's a very fast question. Could not fall away here. Deep three, no good. Caleb Williams with the rebound. On to Georgetown next season. Staying local in D.C. So pass, Roy for three. This is three by Caleb Williams here. Three, Roy. Into the 10-6 game. And which way here? Fair pass ball. Fairfax keeps it on his end. Fairfax lost to Trout and Trey. 104 remaining here in the first quarter. On pass back over. Fakes it. Nice inside play here. Ball stays on this end. Fairfax ball. Look in, back. <coughs> Sit well, friends, get it back. 51.3 seconds left here in the quarter. Going for three. Hits it again. Pull up. Got it. And then Metro Private School Conference leader. Up there. Down 13 in here with a big bucket to cut into the lead. Gets it back. Gillis for three. He nails it. Hit the bucket. 16-8 after one. And Sidwell Friends in front by here in the finale game of the Capitol Hoops Challenge and back in the second quarter here from South Lake. Coming up. Corner here on the way from South Lakes and Ruston, Virginia here in the Commonwealth. And right now, Sitwell Friends down most of the quarter, able to come back, take the lead here in a second. Griffin, pass it back around. Here, Rowan with it. Lewis, double, poke back the ball. Griffin, intercept it. Six 
Seen H to score for FS Christian, trying to make some hay in the second quarter. Ball tipped out of bounds. The same with the Cardinals. Inside. Picked off. Playing with it. Dips it to Lewis. Lewis and one. Lewis! 18 8 now, lead to 10. Time out by Coach Parker and company. At the call, we have a 10. We'll be back. And one here, short. Eighteen eight. Need this three. Air there. Come on, it. Got the offensive rebound back. Let's do it again. Just a miss. Went up the top. The offense gets it back. Right now, controlling the pace of the game now. That's a Russian truck, that's his second. Team second. Kick of William shooting two. The shot on that. The game for Fairfax, Frank Siakra Bay, and Frederick Johnson. Into the game for Sidwell, Hashim Coward. Nineteen eight. Try to make it a twelve point lead and Williams up. Twenty eight to score. <coughs> Double. Nice defense here by Sidwell. Got it. And Sika Bay foul. That was on a Keegan Lewis. Sibwell with it. That's his first. Team first. That's yeah, Sibwell's first of the quarter. Picked all by Wayne. Williams blocked from behind. Jake Williams, that is, back the other way. Went with the three instead. In and out. Numbers here for Sitwell. Williams, layup. No. All back. Fairfax gets it back. Ostrade fades. That's short. That's the foul. All going back the other way. Oh. Pensive Powell's on Frank Scott today, his first team third. You want Richmond to turn to the third pass. 28 to score. Lewis leads all scores with seven so far for Zibwa. Going for three. In and out. He's trying to take the lead in that category. That three attempt there. D three. No good there from Richmond. Back to sit by Williams. Jake. Actually, he's killing with the pass and the Lord foul. He's shooting two. That's what Trey Fitch has his first 
Team four. One team foul on Fairfax here. Two. <laughs> for Sidwell, Caleb Gillis. need to get to the line here. It's Fairfax That was on Frank's, or it's Frank Siakabe shooting two. Siakabe shooting the fair. No good. to the hoop. The roll went in. Richburg with that one, the senior. That's an 8 of 14. Keller Williams, no guy. The alley, oh that's a hole, that's a foul. 13 foul on set wire. Also, the seat power is first to third. There's a game for Fairfax, Elijah, and a bed row. Really good. And then the game for Sidwell, Ian Condon. Look at it. Out of bounds. The ball stays on its end with Fairfax. Left and a half, a 14-point lead here for Sitwell. Gives it. 
Wayne Lehman. 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 some hay here on the offensive end. Tipped and missed there. Drive. Hot off the hand. Turnover. So well gets it back here. Like Ben Fax pressing a little bit here. Williams pulls up. Roll away, no good. Got back to Jake Williams. Wayne. Way back here from Davis. Minute left, ten and a half. Open three. No good there for Davis. Deep three. No good. Jake Williams, split on the end, the ball stays with Sitwell. It's a foul shooting too. Jake Williams. Jake Williams coming up to shoot a pair here. Jake Williams shooting Gasoline is Fairfax. Down 19. Still can't get in there. Williams in there. Lead to 21. Find it. Jake Williams gets it. Kill us at the buzzer! No! Yeah, the first half is 4-0, Squakers 31, 
All set well here in the second quarter. Up 31-10 at the break. Final half. Just out of the Washington Wizards coming back in. Give it a second half here for Rustin. Second half here about to get going for Fairfax Christian. That was about 21 in this one. 31 10. Final quarter here. Final half, excuse me. From the Capitol Hill Challenge. And Fairfax Christian Ball as we start the second half. Deep three. Short, nice offensive rebound in there. With that one. 12, he scored. <laughs> Step back. Lewis, no good. Sigur Bay with a rebound. Spin move. Four quick ones there. Whitmer gets it. Williams back to Rain. Rain for two. No. Shots here for Sitwell's going quick. Richmar. Basket and in. And the lead now cut to 15. 21 point lead a couple of moments ago. Nice one to the bucket and in for it. Ryan gets it and gets his point total to 10. It's a full timeout. Full timeout for Sitwell. That's their first timeout they've taken. Now officially closed for business. Exemption stand, I regret to inform, is now closed. Here with a minute. Got this time out here. 33 16, your score. And this one, again, the Dane Fiasco Bell Showcase wrapping up. We'll be in the Baltimore area this week for action Baltimore City, County, and the BCLMIA. A conference. And we could be also coming at you at the end of the week with the DMV Friday. High School Hoops Showdown. We have a game here in the Falls Church. With Paul the Six and Bishop O'Connell are back up in Baltimore County with Franklin and Parkville. A huge match up there. Back to game action here. Look in here. 
to the basket, no. I think the ball should go back the other way. Well, the set right. Jake Williams, yes! They set a 20 point lead again. 36 16. Lewis with 11. Nails a three by three. Nigel Howard. For Nigel Howard. Still, very nice Up top, spins away. The roll in. Frank on the basket. Now Paul Frank Sacramento is his second. He first. Sitball gets it back here. He Change the three time off the net. Whistle and a foul against Sitball here. It's their first team foul of the second half. That's his first, team first. Turning for Sidwell, Bryce Griffin. Crossover. Swings it. That's a three. Flat line it off, and rebound in there. Oh, 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 oh. How about that? We got a 40-26 game, 14 point game. D3, no. Offensive rebound. Back up, no good. Get the ball back, Williams. Count it, and one. Williams with a big pocket there. 
And then fell off the line and out of Ben Rowe, that's his second and team second. Ian Condon returns for Sidwell. Caleb Williams shoots one. Got it. 43 26 to lead to 17. D3, no good. Playing with it. Foul tap. The, the way the ball stays on his end. Two fifty seven here left in the third. Lewis, we don't score the thirteen to the basket. No, <coughs> Masari with the rebound. Deep three. Yeah. Lewis gets it back. Lewis splits the D. Back over. Lewis and the freshman get it. That's a three back. No good. Lewis pushing it. Lead to 19. Lewis reverses. No good. Oh, the tap back in. Lewis. Lewis win it there. Full time out called by Fairfax. Fairfax Christian 202 remaining. 47 26 game. We're back. Back here to game action now. Two minutes. Two minutes on the third. <coughs> Pull up, short, right in the air. Sidwell gets the rebound back. Williams back, Rain off the glass and in. 15 equals his teammate Lewis with that same number. Fouls on Ian Cotton, that's his first. Ian second. 15.9 seconds left. Gets a back shot fly off. Only two seconds left. It's a foul there. Thirteen foul against uh, Fairfax Chris. Fouls on Trey Pitch, that's his second and team third. Let's 
Stolen. One foul from behind. Shooting two to end the quarter. That's the second In one of two. <laughs> Sit well in front and in control is the last quarter. Of the Capitol Hoops Challenge roll at you here coming up in the fourth. Fourth quarter here to the Wings. Sit well, friends, in control of this one, 52 27. Shot clock at 13. Back door. Missed the layup, went back up with it, no good. Sounds good for Connie. Didn't get it to go in. Playing the string out here. Lay up in there. Richburg lays it up. TD1 Richburg. Again, like I said, going the week. We're well, supposed to have a game down in PG County this week. Three ball, no good. Well, guys, that was looking for us. Our friend Trier Basketball got some big matchups down there. Coming up, that's a three. No good. One number be Longo and Wynn Park. I won't be Wynn Park. Get him out. Hey, that hey, one. Hey, Caleb Williams. So, check that one out. Scout. Fouls on Q1. Trier Basketball. Twitter. He first. He for Sidwell Jake Williams. And Caleb Gillis. South Lake's great host here. Second day of uh Captain Williams Challenge. Shooting one. Scouts will host both days. The district closed all stuff down here in Fairfax, so <coughs> hit the miss there. Clinton Grace, last second Sykes. Capital Hoops Challenge. Double. Pocket 10. Travel. Ain't nothing coming. Walk there. This was a 25 point game here. Well, the only game of the day is really kind of ran away. Run away to hide, look. That's them close then. Started off, they two here with an overtime winner for Clinton Grace over St. Andrews. That's a three back. No. Now back to Richburg. Blocked in a foul. It's Shooting. 
Steve Sturz. Richburg leading the scores of Fairfax has eight. Frank Siakovich, two. How's it now? We've seen a nice up. Well, and over the on. And Nigel Howard. Some thirty one a player here. We're back. Five oh eight remaining. On his end. Dylan Davis and Harrison Kaiser replacing Jalen Ruggiero and Caden Lewis and Caleb Williams. Tip and a miss. Pull up. No good. 340 left. Man at the string here. Backups in this game for Sidwell. Jake Williams leading them. The first throw in there. And how about that move? Shot clock got to get reset. And gets the 28, 325 left. We'll see football friends again at the uh, Mellow Classic. Here in the first weekend of February. Floater, no good. Over the back, that's a foul. 13 foul on Fairfax. That's on Trey Fitch, that's his third. Deep third. Kaiser. 
Jaga at 15. Williams double. Ties it. That door. That first way out of the big. Got the roll to go. Nigel Howard. Howard with the two. Where Fairfax wanted this showdown to go. Three back. Got it. Howard with five quick ones. He has ten now. Matching his jersey now. <coughs> Correction due to foul on Sikhajan, that's his first and a two second. The game for Sitwell, Ivy Avery and Kyle Davis. They replace Caleb Gillis and Williams. Two minutes, two minutes on to regulation. Dips it, rebound back. I think Thirty-one points just lead deficit now. Three ball no. String out in this one. <coughs> Fairfax be looking to rebound. How about Sidwell? I'm playing Sidwell. Time out. Second time out. Last oh, 81 seconds coming your way. The conclusion of today's game, given to one person of the winning team. Last 81 seconds here. This one. We're back to the finish. Back here. Inside. Lay up in there. Davis with that. 69-36. Sidwell trying to make 70 in reality. Fairfax to keep it on his hand with a minute five. Fairfax, dog with this one. He replaces Trey Fitch. And in the game for Sidwell, Burton White replacing Hashim Coward. Getting everybody, everybody a little burn in this one. Both teams have kind of done that now. Pull up. Short. Minute left. Down the court. Right there. Griffin. Griffin. Got it in there. The end of the shot clock there. And one. 71 is a rally now. 71-36, trying to make it 72-36 now. Rice Griffin will ship on. Play goes out. 35-point <coughs> deficit here. That's strange. It's a steal back. Two on one. Offensive rebound. White didn't bring that back out. We call the offensive the rebound. Violation. Shot clock is off now. You see, this one is a wrap. Oh. Jumper, no good. Griffin clears it. Nice, another nice win by Sitwell here. They've had a couple conference games. Two games, 
the Metro PSC Conference. They're dominating them both. The top team in the match defeats the top team in the Metro Private School Conference. 71 36, your final. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank everybody for attending this weekend's second annual Capital Hoops Challenge. We look forward to seeing everybody at the third annual Capital Hoops Challenge next year, wherever that may be. Thank you again to the entire staff here at Capital Hoops, as well as again, both school, Grace Clinton, Christian, and South East for hosting this year's festivities. Thank you to Fairfax Christian and their head coach James Parker Jr. for participating here. in the second annual Capital News Challenge. Good luck to Fairfax Christian for the rest of the 2023-2024 year. Fairfax Christian, you are dismissed. You may head back to the locker room. Sidwell friends, please stick around. We will have the MVP presentation. And it certainly was as deep a box score as I've seen. But at the end of the day, finishing with 15 points and seven assists, tonight's most valuable player is none other than a Caden Lewis. Caden Lewis had an all-around game, definitely did. He started off really well, and he did get it done. Molly went for sit well again. Lewis will be wearing, bringing home the BN Strong MVP shirt. Strong VP, uh, sure, courtesy again. of our friends of the Washington Wizards. Being strong. And all the information here. All the information here on Thank you, Coach Eric Singletary and Sidwell Friends for participating the in the Capital Hoops Challenge. Good luck the rest of the way in the 2024 season. In a couple weeks up to Tyson. And the Bob Murray, we got some business at all of us again here in South Lakes, we want to thank the Game Basketball Basketball Showcase and Capital Hoops Challenge. It is starting to be a great with the matchup. Please for the winner. Good day, everybody. Kate Overly going to the Baltimore County Championship game in all likelihood. We'll have them for you to start things off in a couple of hours. Until then, we'll see you back up in Baltimore County. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?